गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन हु इज द हेड ऑफ द पैनल सेटअप टू रिकमेंड द रिफॉर्म्स इन आर्बिट्रेशन लॉ सो गवर्नमेंट हैज फॉर्म एन एक्सपर्ट पैनल विच इज हेडेड बाय फॉर्मर लॉ सेक्रेटरी मिस्टर टी के विश्वनाथन to establish india as a global center for international arbitration and alleviate the strain on courts okay this panel will propose reforms to the arbitration and conciliation act and this committee consists of our attorney general n venkatraman and it has been established by the department of legal affairs which works under the union law ministry okay so who is head of this panel answer would be mr tk vishwanathan now here if we talk about few important and the recent appointments who is the new president of basketball federation of india this is mr dk govind raj right then who is the new brand ambassador of tripura tourism it is cricketer saurav ganguly can you tell me sachin tendulkar has been recently appointed as the smile brand the smile ambassador of which indian state do let me know in the comment section also recently paytm has appointed mr bhavesh gupta as its president and ceo okay then who is the new ceo of vodafone margarita dalla fine so these are the few important and the recent appointments now next question is which personality or institution was granted the gandhi peace prize 2021 this is geeta press from gorakhpur and recently it has received the gandhi peace prize for the year 2021 so it is the largest publisher of hindu religious text and gandhi peace prize is an annual award that is instituted by the government of india in the year 1995 on 125th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi as a tribute to the ideals advocated by mahatma gandhi so it is open to all persons regardless of nationality race language caste or gender fine so this is an important question which personality or institution has won the gandhi peace prize for 2021 this is geeta press from gorakhpur Now here, if we talk about few important awards and honors, International Booker Prize is very very important, and this year it has been presented to Georgi Gospodinov, and he is from the country Bulgaria. Also recently, Astronomical Society of India has instituted prestigious Govind Sarup Lifetime Achievement Award, and it has been conferred to Mr. Jayant. narlikar you can be asked that jayant narlikar who was seen in the news recently is related to what or is associated with which profession so he is an astronaut okay then talking about meera sial meera sial is uk based indian origin actor and recently she has received the bafta fellowship why bafta is important because it is one of the most prestigious award giving bodies in the entertainment industry that's why its fellowship is also important fine it has been given to meera sial next is which company launched the indian languages program to aid small news publishers so the google has introduced the indian languages program and goal is to offer training assistance and the financial help to small news publishers in india who work in eight local languages apart from english fine and these indian languages program and this indian language program seeks to support news publishers in english hindi kannada tamil telugu bengali malayalam gujarati and marathi through training technical support and funding okay so which company has launched this indian languages program to help small news publishers that is google now let's talk about few of the important companies that were in news these days first is indian oil corporation 
Recently, it has partnered with Lanza Jet to set up an aviation fuel plant in the state of Haryana. Okay, and this plant is going to be set up at a cost of twenty-three billion dollars. You can be asked that the new aviation fuel plant by Indian Oil Corporation is to be set up in which Indian state? So that would be Haryana. Okay, then the world's largest car exporter is now the country China. and china has overtaken the country japan in this regard okay so earlier japan was the world's largest car exporter but now china has taken this position also recently hpcl has committed to set up an ethanol plant in una district in the state of himachal pradesh fine and can you tell me who is the global sponsor of icc currently it is mastercard and mastercard has replaced Bharat Pay, right? So now the global sponsor for ICC is Mastercard. Fine. Next question is, Kamla Sohoni, who was honored in the Google Doodle, was the first Indian woman to achieve which feat? So the birth anniversary of Kamla Sohoni has been observed recently, and it was her one hundred twelfth birth anniversary. And why she is important? Because she was the first Indian woman to get a PhD degree in a scientific discipline and also she won the rashtrapati award for her work on neera which is a palm extract that could fight malnutrition among children from the tribal communities in india fine so that's why the name of kamla sohoni is important and recently she has been honored in the google doodle that's why she was in news so basically she was the first indian woman to get a phd degree in a scientific discipline fine Now these days, now if we talk about some women-related current affairs, these days Nusrat Chaudhary is in news. Why? Because Nusrat Chaudhary has been confirmed as the first Muslim woman to serve as a federal judge in the U.S. history. Okay, and this confirmation was made by the U.S. Senate. So she will assume her lifetime appointment in Brooklyn Federal Court in New York. Also, she serves as a legal director of the American Civil Liberties Union. Fine. You can be asked that who is the first Muslim woman to serve as a federal judge in the U.S. history? That would be Nusrat Chaudhary. Apart from her, Christina Hammock was also in news these days, and Christina Hammock Koch has been nominated as the first woman to circle the moon. Fine. Then the name of Shelza Dhami is also important. Why? because Shailza Dhami has recently become the first woman officer in Indian Air Force to command the frontline combat unit okay and who's india's first woman rafale pilot this is shivangi singh fine so these are the women that you have to remember which state observes its revolution day on 18th of june every year so goa revolution day is observed on 18th of june every year and who's the current chief minister of goa mr pramod savant recently he has announced that the history of this day will be introduced in class 11th history textbooks in the state and the beginning of goa's liberation from portuguese dominion is celebrated on this goa revolution day which is also known as kranti din okay So, which state celebrates the Revolution Day on 18th of June? Answer would be Goa. You can also be asked that Goa celebrates its Revolution Day on which particular day of June month? So, that would be 18th of June. Okay. Now, let's see few of the important days from the month of June. First of June is celebrated as World Milk Day, right? Then, third of June is observed as the World Bicycle Day. Also. in between 2nd of june is observed as international sex workers day okay then 5th of june is celebrated as the world environment day and each one of you have to write what was the theme for this year's world environment day after that 7th of june is observed as the world food safety day and the next one is 8th of june and we celebrate world's ocean day on this day okay so these are the important days from the month of june for first 10 days means first to 10th of 
जो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन हैज अप्रूव्ड 150 मिलियन डॉलर्स लोन टू सपोर्ट द रेजिलियंट केरला प्रोग्राम सो वर्ल्ड बैंक हैज अप्रूव्ड अ 150 मिलियन डॉलर्स लोन टू सपोर्ट द रेजिलियंट केरला प्रोग्राम एंड दिस प्रोग्राम इज डिजाइन टू स्ट्रेंथन केरलास प्रिपेयरनेस फॉर द नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स क्लाइमेट चेंज इम्पैक्ट एंड डिजीज आउटब्रेक्स also it is expected to strengthen kerala's resilience in the critical areas of coastal erosion and water resource management fine so world bank has approved this much amount of loan to support the resilient kerala program now apart from it india's defense and security authorities have recently made the decision to implement uniform annual confidential reports for the senior officers across all branches of the armed forces okay and this is decision aligns closely with the government's strategy for the threatization process which seeks to foster the greater collaboration and coordination among the three branches of the military okay simply you can be asked that common annual confidential reports which were seen in the news recently is associated with which field so answer would be defense it is associated with defense Now, apart from it, recently SEBI has imposed restrictions on online bond platform providers, prohibiting them from offering the products other than the listed debt securities. However, SEBI has allowed these platforms to offer specific securities like government securities, treasury bills, listed sovereign gold bonds, listed municipal debt securities, and listed. securitized debt instruments okay simply you can be asked that which institution issued the guidelines on the product offerings by online bond platform providers so that would be sebi seb securities and exchange board of india okay as on 17 623 the gross direct tax collections for financial year 23 to 24 has grown by what percentage So as per the data by the tax authorities the gross direct tax collections for financial year 23 to 24 on this date registered a growth of 12.73% and the net direct tax collections for the same period grew at over 11.18% so these all figures refer to good business trends and activities also softening of global commodity prices has moderated the input prices which invariably support the operating margins and the tax revenue growth okay so the gross direct collection for this time period has grown by 12.73% now can you tell me which country's armed forces is planning for cross service postings of the senior officers this is the country india so indian armed forces are planning now to go ahead with cross services posting of a large number of senior officers in the ranks of brigadier and major general and equivalent recently the inter service postings of a large batch of around 40 officers of the rank of major and lieutenant colonel and equivalent were announced okay and equivalent were announced so this is the initiative of india can you tell me what is the name of the 37th national games mascot which was unveiled recently in goa few days back we have talked about it so as we know that goa is hosting the 37th national games this year and the mascot has been unveiled by the president of goa recently and this mascot is a representation of indian bison okay and uh, what is and what is that word this is moga so during the launch event the national games jersey was also unveiled so you can be asked that moga is the mascot of which particular game so answer would be 37th national games which country has received a financial support of 1 billion dollars from the country china recently so government of pakistan has recently received 1 billion dollars from its close ally china to support its critically low foreign reserves and the funds were received by the state bank of pakistan okay 
basically pakistan's economy is at the verge of default and imf is pushing the country to fulfill its many of the demands for providing bailout package fine so that's why pakistan has received the financial help of 1 billion dollars from the country china recently now let's see a few of the important international appointments the first name is here tayyip erdogan recently he has been re-elected as the president of turkey okay second name is bola tinubu and bola tinubu is the new president of the country nigeria then who is the 22nd president of country bangladesh this is shahabuddin chuppu right and who is the new vice president of the country ua this is sheikh mansoor fine these are the few international appointments next question is satvik siraj rankiretty and chirag shetty are associated with which sport so india's lead badminton players satvik siraj rankiretty and chirag shetty created history by becoming the first doubles pair from the country to win the indonesia open title which is currently a super 1000 event on the bwf world tour okay so that's why they are important and they are associated with badminton fine talking about some sport related current affairs who has won the roland who has won the roland garros 2023 trophy it has been won by novak djokovic and he has defeated kasper rud novak djokovic is from the country serbia and kasper rud is from the country norway okay then second news is about indian captain rohit sharma recently he has become the third indian opener to cross the 30000 run target across different formats and who is the first to do so this is virendra sehwag and the second is sachin tendulkar third news is about ravinder jadeja why he is important because recently he became the most successful indian left arm spinner in the test cricket and he has replaced bishan singh bedi basically he has broken the record of bishan singh bedi okay now if we talk about grandmasters so who's the 82nd grandmaster of india this is vopala praneet who's from the state of telangana and if we talk about the icc players of the month for may so in male category winner was harry tactor and he is from the country ireland okay and in females category the winner is thipacha and she is from the country thailand fine next question is which country has won the title of world squash championship in 2023 so egypt has retained the world squash championship after beating the country malaysia in the finals that was held in chennai okay and third place was shared jointly by india and japan basically india was beaten by malaysia in the semi finals and eight countries took part in this championship fine so three things are important which country was the winner of this championship this is egypt second question is which country was runner up this is malaysia and the third question is india was ranked at which place so answer would be third which city hosted the national conference on foundational literacy and numeracy so the national conference on foundational literacy and numeracy took place in pune serving as a lead up event to the g20 fourth education working group meeting and the discussion of the conference focused on the theme capacity building and training of teachers in a blended mode okay so which city hosted this conference answer would be pune now can you tell me which country is the host of the intersolar europe 23 exhibition so this exhibition was held in germany and this event witnessed the participation of indian renewable energy development agency and it participated in the exhibition and the indian pavilion showcased their initiatives in financing renewable energy projects also in promoting energy efficiency and how they are supporting the growth of renewable energy sector in india okay 
simply you can be asked that which country is the host of inter solar europe 2023 exhibition answer would be germany so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this news hatsana signing off